guys so today we are talking all about green beans i have them if you look at my chest and some parts of my hands i have them and some of you guys also have them so today we are addressing the question of what causes green beans and how can we get rid of them or how can we minimize their appearance on our skin now before you understand the treatment for green beans it's very important to understand the causes because if you are if you are treating the green beans and at the same time you're also causing them you're also doing the things that cause them then you're basically doing what i call zero work so the very first thing we're talking about is what exactly causes green beans and especially for people like us who are doing skin lightening now first of all it's very important Important and very crucial for us to understand the layers of the skin because the skin has different layers it has the epidermis it has the dermis and many other layers but now the layer which gets damaged because of skin uh, because of uh, your skin becoming thin and the green veins showing the layer that gets damaged is called the dermis now the dermis contains 90% of the skin's thickness it has the collagen and it also has the elasticine now the reason why we get green veins especially for people like us who are doing skin lightening is because your skin gets thin that means it doesn't have enough collagen or the collagen has been depleted to substantial levels so now when your skin becomes thin that is when you start seeing those things like the green veins the spider veins for having skin issues and basically when your skin becomes thin that means the dummies which is the uh, the part of the skin that has 90% of the thickness it means that the dummies has been damaged so exactly what are these things that cause the damage to the dummies and lead to skin thinning and lead to green veins now there are a few things here and there now let's begin with the things that are most of uh, that affect most of us who are doing skin lightening the very first reason the main reason is the use of steroid creams this is something I have discussed in my channel before and I said you should stay away from steroid creams. They, if you just understand the whole logic of how steroid creams work, you'd understand why they're not good for your skin. It, it doesn't even have to be like steroid skin lightening creams, but any kind of steroid cream you're using on your skin will eventually cause skin, uh, uh, this, your skin to become thin. As Especially if you're using those creams on a constant basis and you're using them on a long term, you know, using them for a long, long time, like for one year or six months, they will cause extensive damage to your skin. So like for me, for example, I know very well what caused my green veins is a cream, as this cream I was using uh, for a long time, for almost like one year. And I've discussed that cream before in my channel. And that cream, people say it contains uh, steroids. I haven't tested it out yet to verify that. But I cannot understand why I got the green veins because when I was using that cream, in anyway, let's just be real, it was the Della cream. When I was using the Della cream, I got extensive, an extensive network of green veins. Like when I say I could, you could, you could not, you could even count, you could not even count the green veins in my hands. I had so many of them in my hands, my arms, my thighs, my legs. They were everywhere. Like literally, you couldn't even count them because there are so many and they are so damn visible. Like, as I can't even explain. It was also a big 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 mess so for me i know very well that it's because of using a steroid cream and i use them for a long long time how do i know this this is because when i was using wet initials because at the time i was using wet initials and i have a video on that as well just go and check it out in my channel now with white initials, uh, I was using it for my face i had some dark spots in my face and also i had some dark spots in my chest and my back when i was using it I got zero green veins that is how I came to know the issues of my skin is the product because there's some products that I use that don't cause green veins but they still lighten my skin so there's this misconception that posted that uh, if your skin is becoming if you're getting green veins it means your skin is becoming lighter it's a natural process but for me I don't believe that 
it could be maybe some true for some people but for me i believe that the seeing extensive green veins on your skin is most likely being caused by a steroid cream now thinning of the skin is also caused by things like diet because if you're not consuming enough collagen and collagen is what is needed to make your dummies become weaker if you're not consuming foods rich in collagen and uh, all those good vitamins, those healthy foods, then of course eventually your collagen levels will become depleted. Also another thing that causes the green veins is old age. So, and most of us I'm sure we're not that old. I have seen from my analytics, So, but, but most of the causes are because of our old age as well. As we grow older, our collagen becomes uh, less and less and so we need to replenish it. And then the other cause is our dry skin. If your skin is always dry and flaky, it's basically exposing your skin to the sun and you know, it's just basically damaging your skin. So that as well. But the number one cause I know for most of most people who are doing skin tightening, the very first reason, the number one reason is basically because of using a steroid based cream. So if you can, not if you can, basically stay away stay the hell away from steroid creams guys i know some people don't even uh, mind because i get people asking me in the dms asking me about creams that have steroids uh asking me for recommendations like there's some people who don't care they'll do whatever it takes to get light skin at the expense of the health of their skin and i think that is completely and totally wrong because like i said at the end of the day you don't want to just have light skin you want to have light bright and healthy skin healthy skin you know you can have light skin but it looks like you know it looks just unhealthy you, you just know the look of unhealthy skin let me have to tell you guys you know how that skin looks like it looks unhealthy you have patches all over you have basically stay away from steroid creams so now that we understand the causes of green veins let's go into the most common treatments or the best treatments for green veins now some of these things i have tried them myself and when i use them when, when, or when i'm doing these things i see a big change in my green veins i see them disappearing at times i even not even see them so these things actually work number one is using uh, supplements using collagen supplements collagen omega-3 and vitamin C supplements those are the very well known supplements for uh, increasing the level of collagen in your skin mostly mostly collagen if you can get a hold of collagen supplement that will be really really good for you and also omega-3 omega-3 has or, or vitamin A one of those will work very well for me when I'm using vitamin A pills and the vitamin C and my glutathione I see a huge change in in my green veins especially with the vitamin a vitamin a for me i feel really 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 helps with uh, the my skin a lot with the green veins so i really emphasize on those three supplements so vitamin c uh not three really, therefore vitamin c collagen vitamin a uh and what else and uh, maybe maybe good down if, if you can uh, afford it so those all those supplements they work very well to make your skin become weaker and healthier so the next treatment for green veins this is something i haven't tried i have to be honest with you guys on what i have tried and what i've not tried is uh, using a retin a cream now i used to use retin a on my face and for some weird reason i don't understand why retin a does not work for me there's so much research behind retin a being a very good tropical cream for skin aging if you have deep wrinkles in your skin or if you have fine lines retin a really helps just go and research on uh, retin a now for me <laughs> funny enough when i use retin a i get wrinkles on my face i get those uh, lines on my face so i don't understand why it doesn't work for me though i highly recommend it because I think it's just a personal problem I have because I know most guys who use Retin A have nice glowing skin. However, I haven't tried tr uh, using uh, Retin A on my body because the skin on your face and the skin on your body are completely different. So maybe I'll try and apply some of it on my hands. I don't know if my green waves are showing on camera. I'm trying to show you guys. I hope they're showing. 
anyway i will try they normally appear on this um, on this side i will try to apply a retin a on my hands or combine retin a with uh, my skin tightening cream and i uh, see how that one works because my skin tightening cream does not have steroids and steroids are the ones that cause uh, the skin to become thin so i'll be combining a bit my cream with a uh, retin a and i monitor the progress and i see this one green wing here hope you can you guys can see it and i'll see how that works out now the next solution is using injectable fillers now most of you are familiar with people using like celebrities using fillers on their face uh to make it look more plumpy and to make it look more youthful but fillers can also be used on your hands and your other parts of your body where you have green veins and they give you instant results that can last for up to two years now i don't know about uh, the cost and all that because that is something i just got from my from my research i haven't tried using fillers myself so uh but it's it's a uh, backed up by research so if you can afford it and if you can uh if you want to try it you can try and see how fillers will work on your green veins now the next thing that you can try is micro needling this is something i talked about in my video when i was talking about my skin uh bleaching why i began skin bleaching how i did micro needling on my uh, face to get rid of acne scars and uh, i have tried it on my face but i haven't tried it as a cure for green veins or i haven't tried micro needling on uh, other parts of my body apart from my face now it's kind of like a painful process not very painful because they put some uh, something on your skin to avoid uh you feeling the pain but basically it's, it's, it's a think of micro needling like a tattoo process it's basically many needles going in your skin in and out in and out it's just basically like putting holes on your skin all over but small 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 holes to boost the production of collagen because once your skin senses that there's some damage coming uh, on your skin it will increase the level of collagen that's the whole point of micro needling that is basically how micro needling works but then again with that one you have to go for several sessions and uh, the last time I did it here in Kenya uh, how much was it I think I had to call the girl who did it for me. She's actually a nurse. She's called Agnes. I'll put her number down below in case you're in Kenya and you want to go and do micro needling. I'll put her number down below because I can't remember how much it cost me. But it's also a very good procedure for any person who wants to get rid of green veins. Now, the very next thing to avoid green veins is something I talk about. I, I, I always talk about this in my channel is using sunscreen. Use your sunscreen. Don't go out in the sun, even for 30 seconds of one minute, just going to do shopping or whatever you're going to do or run a quick errand. Don't go out in the sun without using sunscreen. And I always say use a sunscreen of above of an SPF of above 50. I already have a video on my recommended sunscreen, not that I love so much, that, that, that don't give me a white cast. I have a video on that and I will link it down below. Now, why is sunscreen important to prevent green veins? because the sun breaks down your collagen very 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 fast the sun penetrates through the skin levels and damages your dummies and depletes your collagen that is why you should always wear sunscreen now the next step is uh, something that is so obvious is to moisturize your skin because when your skin is dry it's more prone to becoming damaged now the next treatment for green veins is basically your diet what you are eating day in day out you know how they say you are what you eat the next thing is something i haven't tried but it's something that i know that works based on research is by using lasers now uh, uh there's a whole process on how lasers work but basically what i can tell you with lasers you have to do multiple treatments for you to get rid of the green veins the same case like when you're removing a tattoo using lasers doesn't get rid of the tattoo the first time you're doing it it takes multiple treatments for you to see the results i don't know why they do it in kenya or in the u.s but you can just check out in your area and see how much it costs and see if that, that is something you'd consider because from what i hear it's a more permanent solution to any of the skin conditions that you have now the next product i'm going to mention that is uh, well known uh, for 
not actually well known i got this one from one of you guys one of my subscribers she's called uh let me let me get her name right here she made a comment on my video she's talking about uh she's called sandra she's talking about a product called uh Kenako. And I went ahead and did some research on it. Basically, it seems like a Nigerian product because on their website, the price is in Nairas. So I assume it's a Nigerian product. It's basically supposed to repair any damage you have uh, because of skin tightening, any damage you have on your skin. As they say, it's a whitening body and face, can be mixed in with lotion. But, uh, and then again, the price is... Uh, 3500 naira that is almost like 9.6 dollars almost like 10 dollars somewhere around there uh if you've tried it let us know if it works because it will really help most of us is this case supposed to be a combination of oils if i'm not wrong it's a combination of different oils so i think so so basically go check it out and see maybe if it would work for you and that's basically guys all about green veins uh so i think i'm going to go and try and check uh retin a because the last time i checked they didn't have it here in kenya in stock i don't know if it was kind of like banned in the market or if it was out of stock i don't know i'll just go and check that was almost like a uh, beginning of this year i'll go and check and see this have it available if i get it i'll go and take it and apply it on my green waves and i'll come and tell you if it works or not that's what's got it guys and hope you enjoyed the video if you if you like it make sure you give this video a big thumbs up it really helps in recommending the video to other more uh, people who might need this information thank you so so much for watching i love you guys love you so so much and until next time see ya